We're going to talk you through some game cut-ups here submitted by Coach Justin Isk, the offensive line coach at Southwestern Oklahoma State University. Coach Isk did a great job in his clinic report uh, this week of putting together just the common errors on the inside zone concept and more importantly how to fix them. You know, we all know the inside zone is a staple on most offensive systems, particularly spread offensive systems. But this is um, a pretty unique piece in that he details at least 17 issues, okay, that he has in the inside zone technique as it results to covered play side defenders, uncovered play side defenders, and backside, excuse me, uncovered offensive linemen, covered offensive linemen, and backside offensive line the inside zone concept so i thought it was kind of unique that he put this together because most coaches are trying to find ways to troubleshoot the inside zone concept and coach does a great job of it here i will tell you coaches that this is uh you can get the full version of this video and the including the cut-ups these cut-ups are from fort hayes state university where coach isk was formerly the offensive line coach uh, if you become a member at xandolabs.com by becoming an inside member today you get full access to the entire clinic report by Coach Isk, as well as the full-length narrated video version by myself and the unnarrated game cut-ups. So we're going to go all through just the end zone shots here. And uh, Coach Isk has detailed specific players to look for here. We're going to look right now at the left guard, okay, and the left guard's footwork. Now, one of the problems that Coach Isk points out is not getting the second step in the ground quick enough. So you get his own left concept here. Okay, so he makes contact on the first step. Now, Coach Isk is going to teach that player to take that second foot and drive that second foot through the crotch. He's a little slow with that second foot. As you see right now, he doesn't get it on the ground. And this defender, this three technique, is able to turn him out a little bit, and he loses his parallel relationship to the line of scrimmage. Okay, in this concept, we're looking at the right guard in this particular play. Now, watch his hand placement. Coach talks about getting that inside hand. It's so important, the backside hand on the inside zone concept to prevent from any spikes or any internal, you know, uh, internal pressure where you could fight back across the offensive player's face. Now, this hand is way out there. He needs to be inside in the sternum. And that's a coaching point that coach addresses exactly what he does with drill work to solve those problems, especially with the hand placement there. So 73, okay, and, and because of that, he gets turned. You see the rest of the players here, pretty decent job here working their tracks, but not a very good job there. Okay, here we're looking at the right guard. Okay, over here, 73 again. And the footwork here, as you see, watch the footwork. Okay, see the second step does not get to the crotch right there. And because of that, he's off kilter, he's unbalanced, doesn't have good leverage. And again, that's not something you want to see. Working the zone scheme, of course, you know, when you work that inside zone scheme, you want that lateral displacement so the back, okay, can find a hole and he's not getting it there. Another issue that Coach Isk talks about is hips and not driving hips through the block. We're going to see that here in this cut-up. And we're looking at the left tackle. Okay, so this player right here. The zone's going to go to the left. He's going to be the play side. Okay, not getting hips on hips does not do a good job of trying to get his weight on the defender's weight, and number 34 is able to lock him out here. Could be a common issue on offensive linemen, and Coach Isk, again, in the full-length clinic report, details how to correct those issues. Okay, we're going to see another hish issue with hips. Okay, we're looking right now at the right tackle. Again, doesn't explode into the fender. Okay, and Coach talks about the techniques he does to fix that, but good job defensively by that player playing with leverage. As you can see, that's very detrimental to the back. Okay, he knocks 66 right into the back. 
because 66 not going to play with leverage here with his hips. The back is clearly an athlete is able to make something out of it, but not something you want as an offensive line coach. Now we're going to give you an example of a pretty good job of a left tackle bringing his hips. And again, coach talks about how he coaches this. There's things he does, coach, the coach called the volleyball drill, the line drill, the circle drill, the hips drill. Coach does a great job of detailing the specific drill work he does to fix these issues, which you can access on the full-length clinic report by becoming an insider at xandolabs.com. Okay, so right now you have pretty good contact. Now, 75 does a great job moving his feet, getting his hips through the block. As you can see, creates a tremendous cavity there to run the football. Okay, so now we're going to talk through some slants here. Okay, we're looking at the right guard. As that three technique slants right now, Coach Is talks in the clinic report about that player now becoming a covered backside offensive blocker where now he has to work to take his shoulder tip and his shoulder blade okay and drive it through the play side number to get him vertical okay and he has to do that by taking that second step and taking that second step and putting it to the crotch of course here he does not do that and it causes a pile up now we're going to show a pretty good reaction to the slant technique Okay, right guard over here, and you can see how tight that technique is. Should be a, a clue for a slant. Okay, so there's trying to work right across his face. He still becomes, he, he goes from a cover backside offensive player to a cover play side player. So now he's going to take one, his inside hand, put it to his sternum, outside hand on the breastplate. Okay, and ride him out. Look at the strength on the backside hand there. So important the backside hand, you can still see he's kind of attached with that backside hand, riding that player out in his zone scheme. You want to make sure that's, that player does not have the ability, some offensive line coaches call it cabbage patching or slipping back inside. You want to make sure you keep gap integrity offensively in his own play. I'm going to show you another good reaction to a slant here by both the right guard and the center. Okay, see a tight three technique right there. Right now, he's covered play side. Okay, there's a slant. Because he has immediate pressure in his gap, he has to now not worry about that player and work play side. Now watch the center here. The center becomes covered. Okay, pretty good job with the backside hand. Again, we talked about that. Riding him out. Okay, we're going to see poor footwork here. Second step by the left guard. He's covered backside, so he should be working to take that backside shoulder tip and drive it through the chin of that defender. Okay, again, doesn't do a good job getting that second foot in the ground. That's where the leverage is going to come from. Okay, we're going to see some combos here. We got a right guard, okay, and a center working the combo, and coach talks about the combo technique as well. Okay, four hands there, four eyes here. Pretty good job, that player working off that guard, taking that second level player. Okay, now we have a footwork issue by the center. Okay, watch the center second step right here. So important to get that second step in the ground right to the midline of the defender. You're going to see this foot, okay, is going to cross over here. Okay, right there. See, he's off kilter there. He's got to work square to the second level. 
and he's able to, you know, he falls down up inside here. Now that's, you know, when you're working through a second level player, we all know what type of athletes those linebackers and safeties are. You got to make sure your feet are underneath you in an athletic position. Now we have a pretty good job by the center here. Get some retribution. Now the footwork's good. Coach Is talks about not latching on to the player, but it looks like you're going to have zone right here. Okay, so that center's uncovered. He's working to that second level player. So pretty good footwork. You see he's able to cover her up there. Let's see what happens on contact. Yeah, not strong with the backside hand. That linebacker's able to peek and see the ball carry, even if he didn't get in on the play. A couple more here. We're looking at the right tackle. This is a pretty good shot of a bad angle here. Okay, we're looking at a cutoff here where he's working to the second level. <coughs> and again... He's looking to get his he's looking to work the angle he's on to cut him off and get his backside shoulder through the play side number. You know, pre-snap looks like an easy block right now. He's pitter pattern a little bit. He's got to go right now to get to that B gap player. He kind of hangs a little bit. Because he hangs, that linebacker is able to come down the hill, get it on the play. Now you're gonna see a good example of shoulder angle. We're going to look at the right tackle. Okay, so there's his gap. He's working. He should be getting that far shoulder right into the play side number. And lift. Pretty good job right there. Really nice job right there. Work him down there. Back's able to cut off it. If the back had the ball. All right, now we're going to talk you through a pretty good finish by the left tackle. Okay, zone's going away from him. Now, coach actually talked about stepping behind your partner when you're on the backside, where you're working to take that. You know, most coaches do this in stretch or outside zone, but Coach Isk at Southwestern Oklahoma State talks about actually stepping behind, even in the inside zone concept, okay, to get that player cut off by taking that outside shoulder and getting it through the play side number and which he does here you know now you got a pretty good idea of what's a big cutback so there's just some cut ups <coughs> of coach isk's common troubleshooting the inside zone play and the common errors and what he does to fix them we appreciate him submitting another terrific report to x a and d o labs Dot com. We appreciate you logging in, coaches. Again, online, you can get the full versions of these clinic reports, all of our game film, all of our practice film, our special reports, which we're excited about, as well as our drill videos and drill collection. We appreciate you studying this offseason and for logging on to xandolabs.com.